Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to take a look at the Spark 118 scale Alfa Romeo C41 driven by no other than Antonio Giovinazzi in the 2021 season. If you saw my other videos as well, you know that I'm a big fan of the Sauber, now Alfa Romeo team livery. This is actually the car Antonio Giovinazzi drove in the Bahrain GP of 2021. I believe he finished 12th, but Antonio Giovinazzi would get points in this season with a 10th place in Monaco and I believe it was a 9th place in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Yes, but before we continue with this video, I would like to introduce you to the sponsor of this video being tibormodel.com. Tibormodel.com is a wide assortment of all kinds of things related to motorsport. When I browsed through their website, I did not only come across Formula 1 model cars, figures, fanware and helmets, but to my surprise, they even sell genuine Formula 1 car parts. Like this Pirelli tire used in 2016, I mean, that, that's just amazing. This shop is located in Slovakia, that's basically right there. But don't worry, they basically ship worldwide. So in summary, if you fancy anything Formula 1 related, from model cars to a race used tires you can hang above your bed, make sure you check out tubermodel.com. I'll make sure to put a link in the description of this video, so make sure you check them out. Alright, let's get straight to the unboxing, shall we? First of all, let's take this cellophane off, and on the cellophane there's a little sticker of tubermodel.com, as well as a nice card they sent out to me. So let's put that off to the side, and get the cellophane off the package, shall we? And we're greeted with the smell of new books. I know I get a lot of hate for that. So there's basically the box of the model car. Like usual, at the left upper corner we have the Spark 118 scale logo. At the right top corner we have Alfa Romeo Racing and then the head sponsor of Alfa Romeo which is basically Orlin. At the left down corner we have a trophy. So I have no idea why this trophy is in the box, but anyway, let's continue. Then we have a small line of text which basically reads Alfa Romeo Racing Orlin C41. Driven in the Bahrain GP of 2021 and the driver, Jesus, I mean Antonio Giovinazzi. In the back, teammate Kimi Raikkonen back in 2021, his last season with Alfa Romeo. Side A has a beautiful shot of the model car and that's basically replicated on the other side as well. A beautiful shot of the front of the car, which again, the text that basically reads which team it belongs to and the driver. And at the back of the box, we basically have the back of the car. So without any further ado, let's open the box. We're greeted with styrofoam, which is a good sign because everything is still in one piece. Like usual with Spark, two tapes, the viewer gets the beauty first. <laughs> Alright, oh wow, this is magnificent. And I'm not sure if I already told this with the Sauber review, and the Sauber C37 I reviewed earlier, but if there's one thing that stands out immediately when you open this, honestly the metallic red paint, and it's, it's honestly gorgeous. I know I have, I have like four big studio lights aimed on this thing and it reflects so beautiful. I really think they use some kind of uh, automotive metallic paint to achieve this kind of look. But yeah, the front wing, there are almost no sponsors at the front wing whatsoever. At the very tip of the nose, we have a small little logo of Save the Children. There's no logos on the flaps by any means, it's just a plain white surface. Outside of the wing end plate, we have the Orland logo. When I look down on this car, the nose is huge. I'm pretty sure the livery has an effect on this as well. You can see these two stripes on the nose and this basically elongates the effect of how long the nose looks. The tip of the nose, we have the old school Alfa Romeo logo. Above that we have a Carrera logo. Above that we have Shinga Corporation and above that basically a mandatory sponsor of Pirelli. And even above that, we have a Morelli logo. And to finish it all off, we have number 99. Let's take time to appreciate those little tiny flaps going on there and the tiny sensor as well. All right, let's get to the front suspension, shall we? Oh, it's some beautiful carbon fiber detail going on here, as well as a really nice texture. The tires have a slight texture to them as well. Lightly sanded it to make it look like they've actually been raced on track. Very nice blacked out rims with a yellow dot on there as well. I know from previous years, these uh, stripes were actually blue, but this time they changed it around to red. Then we get to the 360 camera, which is hidden away between these two antennas. Three actually. Oh, the second one is a little bit flimsy. Be careful with the second one. We have another logo right here, which is a little bit hidden away, which is Sadara. Basically a very fun philosophy with um, Alfa Romeo is these tiny, tiny wings at the side of the driver's cell. The side pods have really narrow entrances and when you look from the front there's actually a asymmetrical design going on here you can see the slit at the left hand side is really wide compared to the right slit which is basically just a dot then we get to the halo and the, oh i mean the halo looks beautiful in this metallic red color all right then we get to the very interesting part which is the driver figure the helmet of giovinacci kind of grew on me because at first i'm i was like eh. 
but right now when I look at this helmet I think it's a really 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 well done helmet actually so the visor he has on his helmet right here is actually clear this allows to see a very 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 interesting face actually sculpted in the helmet which I can't stress enough is a detail that spark just hits right on we have a detailed suit going on here we have separate sculpted seat belts as well also we have Giovinazzi's name with the Italian flag on there as well I have to say sometimes with spark models or spark manufactured models which is basically look smart as well is that the driver is a little bit low in the cockpit some people say the helmets aren't to scale to the rest of the car well i think sometimes it just put them in lower so it looks like it has a small head like it sits right here is the perfect height for a driver uh, in a formula one car i think also what's also asymmetrical is that they only have a driver camera at the left side of the car at the top we see a giulia logo giulia my italian is not perfect so i'm presuming it says giulia 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 I'm not really sure. Which is basically a car Alfa Romeo produces, which I really like. If you see this Alfa Romeo, I mean, I can drive myself. I have a driver license. Please sponsor me with a Giulia in real life. Not only a model car, but like a real car. That would be nice. Side of the side pods, we have this big, big logo of Orlin. I have no idea what Orlin is. I have to look that up actually. Oh. Orlin is a Polish oil refiner and petrol retailer. So it's basically the Polish shell. All right, let us continue. And underneath there, we have some more logos on the carbon fiber part. AB Dynamics, Iquanic with a Q, <laughs> kind of interesting. Additive Industries, Code Zero, Sparco. And then we have the flag of Sweden. <laughs> I mean, that's the flag of Switzerland, I'm sorry. I think this team is actually original from Switzerland. I know Alfa Romeo is Italian and everything, but this isn't Alfa Romeo, this is actually Sauber in the skies, which uh, again is uh, Swiss to my understanding. Side of the body work, we have very interesting design going on here. We have this really retrofied design of the snake and the cross with the very, very beautiful font of Alfa Romeo. Very interesting shark fin design going on here. Uh, doesn't look the most aerodynamic, but I'm pretty sure it has some kind of purpose. But yeah, floor is pretty plain, narrows a bit at the end. Then we get to a very detailed part of this model car, which is actually the rear wing. Actually, the slots are all cut out at the sides of the car, which is actually pretty, pretty nice to see. You don't see this a lot. If you look at the side of the rear wing, you can actually see the lights that blink if they're um, charging their ERS. But yeah, like you probably know by now, I praise Spark a lot with their bases, which I think adds to the model car. And this base basically reads Alfa Romeo Racing Orlin C41 Bahrain GP 2021. And the driver is Antonio Giovinazzi. So the best thing this team basically had back in 2021 was actually their delivery because um, uh, the car made some points but that was for co-driver Kimi Raikkonen which, is, which gathered points on I believe it was like four or five occasions and our Giovinazzi we have in front of us uh, scored points on two occasions which is basically a 10th place at Monaco and I believe it was a 9th place at Saudi Arabia in the Jeddah circuit. So yeah, that basically wraps up this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Make sure you check out tbormodel.com. I will make sure to put his link down in the description. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. This way I can be motivated to make stuff for you guys. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next one as well. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it.